Hi, everybody. From News Channel 5 Weather, I'm meteorologist Leland Statham. Across the Mid-South this afternoon, we are dealing with more cold air. Wind chills at times were below zero this morning. We'll run the clock on exact track. We had a little bit of a flurry activity in, in reality. We don't talk about lake effect snow often in the south, but we had a little bit of that uh, this morning. Second time this week that cold Arctic air over the warmer waters of Kentucky Lake, Tennessee River, Percy Priest helped to produce a few little small snow bands out there. Now overnight tonight, another disturbance is coming in. So fair for the early part of tonight, then clouds increasing a little bit. This disturbance didn't have a lot of moisture with it, but maybe enough to squeeze out a few passing snowflakes for us tomorrow, so something that we'll keep an eye on. Now, as we head towards Saturday, we'll remain below the freezing mark for you on Saturday, but then or maybe get right at freezing and then get some rain uh, and warmer temps with highs in the 40s for us as we work our way towards Sunday. Uh, continue to keep an eye on what is going on in the Northeast. That was the scene at midday and just uh, notice how beautifully uh, that thing uh, shows up here on our satellite and uh, radar for you. And no also notice the winds. Those are wind gusts at times. There have been some reported wind gust up to 70 miles per hour, but that's that uh, bomb cyclone that so many of you all have heard about recently. And, and again, we uh, talked on the morning showing on talk of the town that uh, while it may be new to you, the term has been around for decades. 24 for you today, 11 tonight, 26 tomorrow, 44 Sunday, 47 Monday. That rain Sunday may start as a winter mix Sunday night. Right now doesn't look big, but we'll watch it and then could end as a few snowflakes Monday night and early on Tuesday. But stay with News Channel 5 on air, online, and on your mobile device for the very latest. Also, check back in on NewsChannel5.com to see if there are going to be any other school closings or delays for tomorrow. Several are already out tomorrow due to the cold and due to the flu. Make it a good afternoon. Stay safe in the cold air, everybody.